Sadine, where do you even begin to digest that one? What a game that was. Look, dramatic game. Um, horrible draw for us, because for our priority is obviously is the National League and trying to get promoted over there. And um, I thought a 2-1, they tactically changed things a bit, a bit direct, they brought some pace on a 2-1, and they get a penalty that should be a foul to us. And it's a horrendous decision by the referee, and I thought that changed the course of the game. We showed good character to go 3-2 up. Um, but I just feel sorry for the players that played today because we have no pace, we've got no attacking options off the bench. I'm watching them bring on attacking options off the bench and we, have, we, we just don't have it and we needed that. And uh, So I feel sorry for the players but I have to commend their commitment, their attitude, their character. The boy, you see, gloves have to come off a cramp. I've got to put Jerome McKeema on as a 10. So it's frustrating. But look, we'll, uh, we're proud of our performance. Um, to play really well for long periods, especially up to the 75th minute. And then uh, I think it's a huge moment in the game to, uh, for them to come back to 2-2 and get a penalty. That's not a penalty. Yeah, proud is probably the word I'd probably put it myself. Like you said, there wasn't many attacking options to come off the bench. Playing such a good team like Exeter, that, that seems like the right the right way to describe the performance today. Yeah, look, I think our system hurt on at times, first half. We were very good in possession. Um, even gloves, to be fair to gloves, like, he got injured towards the end training and I asked him to play. Because we didn't have any, have any options. Um, and he did it, uh, scored a fantastic goal. Um, and look, all in all, uh, we are proud. Delighted for our supporters, they come down, they got behind us. Um, but it's just frustrating. Because um, I sort of know what needs to be fixed. And it's just really, really frustrating. There's not many National League teams that will come to the back garden of a, of a top League One team and, and dominate in possession for most of the game like we did today. What's sort of the, the feeling around that, coming here and playing our own game? It's just their mentality and how we play, you know. I think probably the difference in the game is the small margins, even at 3-3, you look at Nicky, we've got the, the Glover plays a great ball out wide and get the other side of them, they go up the other end and score. From that attack, Nicky doesn't pick out the right pass. Obviously, McGuinness is an experienced player, led the line for them and he got a hat-trick, so... When you've got someone that can bring people into play like that, that makes a huge difference for Exeter and it allows them to build on their pace. But for us, our overloads, the way we play, how we press the ball was good. I thought Anthony Hartigan was, if not, obviously McGuinness got a hat-trick, but I thought Anthony Hartigan was man of the match. I thought he was outstanding, so clean in his play, so brave, always wanting the ball, making good forward passes, um, hunting the ball really well. So you can see why he's played at this level. I want to ask you about that period in the first half where we went a goal down, but yet that really seemed to spare us on and kick us on for the rest of the game from, from there on in. Yeah, just a little bit of naive defending uh, from young Joe Roy. Um, a difficult, he's jumping up the level, so he's still there in the game, um, even though he's a talented kid. And then really naive defender from Addy as well. Poor header for the first goal. He's got a head at wide. It's something we work on all the time. Head the ball wide, keep it at the day, John, turn it over, and then Addy tries to rectify the header by trying to jump the 10, and the 10 slid in. McGuinness and he's buried it but our response from that is always the way we play we'll, we'll play overload we'll be brave we'll play forward we'll run forward the opposition have the ball we'll tackle them so we just we just stick to sort of our beliefs it's just so hard today because we've emptied the gun and I, just, I, I have nothing on the bench today You've obviously spoke about the main aims of this season which is promotion I guess playing today against a top EFL team top League One team and, and really showing that we can compete with the, with the best teams you know, in League One really shows where we can be in the future we still need to invest in our team and in our infrastructure. Um, I don't get carried away with it, you know. There's a reason why McGuinness has had the career he has and the lad in midfield, Woods, they're consistent players. Even the kid Swin Sweeney, the captain, people might look at him, but he's available every week. I think he's played on the bounce for the last six, seven years here. And that's, that's credit to him as a pro, and I've said that to air players. We've got so many injuries all the time. Whether our infrastructure is right with our uh, our medical department, I'm not sure. Look, I ain't an expert on all that, but I'm just frustrated at the fact that we never seem to have everybody fully fit all the time. Um, it's just so frustrating to come here today in different periods in the game. You want to make changes. You know, bring on Brownie today, Tavares today. But players are that they're not available to us. So um, several players missing. Um, so it's really frustrating. We look forward back to the league next Saturday against Oldham live on DAZN. What are your sort of thoughts heading into that one and how that could pan out? It's, it's, they're the title challenging team. They make serious investment. I'm sure they just signed Lucas, didn't they? Yeah. Did he played the champ last year? Yeah, he did, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's multiple games. Oh, there you go. Proper player. So that's what they're prepared to do and that's their investment, showing their intent. So let's see who we can get back from injury and then go from there. It's quite depressing, really. But look, I'm proud of my team today. I'm proud of uh, where I've took the football club from and where we are now. So, look, we want to make that next step. That next step's so big. It's so big. That last 
that last 100 metres are, are so far away, um, but feel so close at times. So this season, I still haven't played my best team, and that frustrates me. So, But look, I'm proud of the team, I'm proud of the club, and um, I'm proud of our supporters coming down here today. And we gave a good credit of us, uh, a good credit of ourselves, um, and we just got to move on, move on to the next game. Um, it's a long season, uh, no promotions ever gained in November. Uh, we still got six months left, so we'll just move on. Thanks for your time, Dean. Cheers, lads. Thanks.